More than 25% of Montana is covered in forest. Millions of acres of trees that never seem to end. And even though we see it every day, we may not think about how it takes tree thinning, wildfires, and even lumber mills to maintain a healthy forest. I spoke with experts in the industry about their forest management concerns in the wake of two back-to-back -back wood product plant closure announcements in Missoula County. You know, we're trying our best to get control of a really serious epidemic and forest health and wildfire crisis in the state. Pyramid Mountain Lumber's closure announcement is putting pressure on state agencies and private landowners. Every time we see one of these things, it's, it's kind of a shocking um, event as a forester you feel when you see the retraction. Some landowners say the increase in hauling and milling costs wouldn't generate enough profit to continue to operate, which could mean parts of the forest go unmanaged. Of the ripple effect of all this is the fact that, yes, now the private timber landowners and even the agencies, the NRC and the federal government, their timber just got worth a lot less. It just got because the transportation costs are going to be huge. I mean, diesel went up against. Those who make their living in Montana's forests say this is a trend all too familiar. Since 1990, the state saw 36 mill closures to date. I'm told that's almost 8,500 jobs. In that same time frame, the DNRC saw fire severity, size, and frequency all increase. It, it's really a key part of the equation that we have a viable mill industry and help offset that cost that we need to spend in order to try to manage these fuels better so that we can, you know, protect people's home and property. Experts say as of now, there are 9 million acres of forest in Montana that need to be treated. And that's because the mortality rate outpaces tree growth. And not only that, but 3.4 million of those acres fall within wildland urban interface, which is where human development meets with trees and other dense vegetation, making forest health an important factor in those areas to protect local assets. We posted more details on our homepage, and you can read the full story online at NBCMontana.com. Also, be sure to follow us on all of our social media platforms.